On July 22, 1847, the first company of Mormon pioneers broke camp near here and proceeded toward the Great Basin Valley of the Great Salt Lake. As seen in vision, a place prepared for their arrival by Providence itself, the Desert Valley must have at once seemed a barren yet wild and wondrous place, but they set to work to establish themselves where one day all nations would look and find solace. Hallowed ground, sacred journeys will help paint a picture of what Salt Lake was like during the pioneer era and contrast those bygone scenes with Salt Lake City as it is today. Nestled in the Rocky Mountains, the Lord led and protected his saints where they strove to build a city on a hill, a refuge for their families and a temple to their God. As we move through time and space across hallowed ground, we see the sacred journeys of those gone before. They have led the way and walked the path that we are now called to tread. As we consider the responsibilities we have to bear in our time, we don't have to look far to see the shining example of these pioneers. May we all remember the rich heritage that is ours today, and following that example, May we strive to leave our own legacy of faith and perseverance for those who follow. Homes, statues, buildings, street names, and plaques bring to mind the names and adventures of the early pioneers who were divinely led to this valley. Each side and every monument has a unique story to tell of courage and sacrifice. These stand as silent tributes and testimonials to the visionary efforts made by pioneer forebears who struggled to make the desert blossom as the rose. They also serve as reminders of why Salt Lake City is unique among the cities of the world and what gives her such an exceptional and distinct personality. Whether for those living in Salt Lake City or for those just visiting for a day, or for members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints with an interest in their heritage, Salt Lake embodies a legacy shared by all. Inspired by such a rich heritage, the sights and symbols scattered around the heart of this growing metropolis are a living legacy to the faith, devotion, and ingenuity of Salt Lake's early settlers and they also help us remember the ingenuity of mankind and the accomplishments of a dedicated community. Much of Utah's pioneer distinctiveness survives in the finished granite and sandstone handiwork of these frontier craftsmen. In 1947, at the centennial celebration of the Mormon pioneers' entrance into the Salt Lake Valley, the late C. Rail penned the following poem to portray the marvelous heritage the Mormon migration bequeathed to their posterity and to all who walked the streets of Salt Lake City. They cut desire into short lengths and fed it to the hungry fires of courage. Long after when the fires had died, molten gold gleamed in the ashes. They gathered it in bruised palms and handed it to their children and their children's children forever. Salt Lake is one of the world's most beautiful cities to visit and explore. Visitors are often struck by the beauty of the downtown area and the wide streets, which Brigham Young designed to be wide enough to turn a team of oxen around. But perhaps nothing captures the magnificent spirit of sacrifice made by those early pioneers as the majestic Salt Lake Temple. Sitting on 10 acres of beautifully manicured grounds and taking 40 years to complete, it is literally at the heart of Salt Lake City. 
Temple Square, as the area surrounding the temple is called, is also the symbolic heart of the worldwide Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We invite you now to come with us back in time to visit Temple Square and over 50 magnificent sites nestled in downtown Salt Lake City as we present Hallowed Ground Sacred Journeys. For more information on Hallowed Ground Sacred Journeys, please visit virtualtours.byu.edu.